Are you confident about spelling? In this video, you'll find out the most common spelling mistakes people make and some tips and tricks to help you avoid them. But first, do take a moment to subscribe to The English Nut. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Bad spelling makes you look bad. It makes you seem less intelligent than you are. So it's worth making an effort to improve your spelling. I'm going to talk about some of the most common mistakes people make and give you some memory hooks to help you remember the right ones. Let's start with the word misspell. Ironically, people often misspell this word. Is it one or two S's? Well, it's a combination of M-I-S, miss like in mistake, and the word spell. When you join the two, you get the letter S twice. One from miss and the other from spell. So it's a double S. Alternatively, you can think of the word as a young lady named Miss Spell who doesn't know her spellings. Do you know the formal word for a memory hook? A system used to help you remember things such as uh, spellings, for example? That word is coming up later because it too is an example of a word that's commonly misspelled. But first, here are six words that people spell incorrectly because they pronounce them incorrectly. Starting with the word pronunciation. Pronounce is spelled with an N-O-U-N as in the word noun. But the O is dropped in the word pronunciation. Think of a nun and make it a habit to pronounce it as pronunciation. You'll get the spelling right too. Video. I hear people pronouncing and spelling it as video. It's video. Think of the pronunciation as V-I-D, vid, followed by E-O, where vid rhymes with did. Video. That's the right spelling too. I think some people get confused about memento because of the word moment. They assume it's moment with an O at the end and spell it as momento. A memento is something you keep as a reminder of a person or event. Think of it as an object that reminds me of something and start the word with the M-E of me. Memento. Femininity. This is another word people pronounce and spell incorrectly. It's not femininity, it's femininity. The ni comes twice. Femininity. Say it right and you'll spell it right. People say and spell asterisk as asterix. That's probably because of the famous cartoon character Asterix the Gaul. Asterisks are often used in financial documents to indicate the risk involved in a particular investment. So remember the risk in asterisk, meaning that if you spell it wrong, you risk sounding like a cartoon character. Definitely. This is often mispronounced and misspelled as definitely. Remember that no one ever ate this word. Tell yourself to definitely spell it right. It is a part of the word not ate. There are some words that are misspelled because they are actually two words that people have joined together by mistake. I'll give you a couple of examples later in the video. As a kid, I could never remember whether occasion had two C's and one S or was it the other way around? Well, the correct spelling is two C's and one S. There's a place called Sion in Mumbai, spelled S-I-O-N. Think of an occasion taking place in Sion. Sion obviously only has one S. Use it to remember that occasion also has only one S. And therefore, it must be the C's that there are two of. Minuscule. Though it means tiny, it doesn't start with M-I-N-I, -I, mini. Think of it as being connected to the word minus, which refers to a reduction, and you'll spell it right. A committee is a group of people. Use this fact to remember that there are three groups of double letters, double M, double T, and double E in the word. Independent is commonly misspelled as independent with an A. Ants are not independent insects though. They live and work in big groups and are dependent on each other, which is one way to remember not to write the word as independent ant. Ants aren't independent, so no ant in independent. If you stand in the middle of railway tracks, which I strongly advise you against, you will notice that they form two parallel lines. But if you look into the distance, the two tracks appear to merge into one. Use this imagery to help you remember that the word parallel has two L's in the middle, which look like the two parallel tracks. But further away at the end of the word, there is just one L, like the one track that the two merge into in the distance. 
A mnemonic is a system or memory hook that can be used to help you remember something. For example, in this video, I'm giving you mnemonics to help you remember the right spellings of words. People mispronounce and misspell mnemonic as mnemonic, which is a different word. Mnemonic has a silent P and is the adjective form of pneumonia, not good at all. On the other hand, mnemonic has a silent M and the first part of the word is pronounced nem, rhyming with M. Separate. This is commonly misspelled as S-E-P-E-R-A-T-E -E with a P-E-R instead of P-A-R. When things are separate, they are apart and apart has no ease. Use this fact to remember to write P-A-R and not P-E-R. Calendar ends in D-A-R and not D-E-R. Just remember that there are two A's in calendar, one for April, the other for August, and you'll get it right. Grammar is often misspelled as grammar with an M-E-R at the end. If you want good marks, end the word with the M-A-R in marks. Only one C but two S's are necessary to spell necessary correctly. Do you know the word cess? It means tax. Think of cess in the middle of necessary and you'll get it right. Tell yourself that if you spell necessary wrong, you have to pay a cess. You don't get a prize for a good surprise. You can use this sentence as a mnemonic to get the spelling of surprise right with an S and not a Z. The spelling of rhythm is like a relationship status. It's complicated. <laughs> Remember the following sentence. Rhythm helps you to hum music. Take the first letters of these words and you get R-H-Y-T-H-M, rhythm. Accommodation. This double room accommodates two children and their two moms. Two C's for two children, two M's for two moms. Up next are examples of words that are actually two words erroneously joined together to form a single word. Along with must always be written as two words, never as a single word. It's incorrect. Along with that mistake, another one that a lot of people make is writing a lot as one word. It's two. You can write thanks a lot to me for pointing that out. Congrats is the short form of congratulations. I see a lot of people writing it as C-O-N-G-R-A-T-E-S with an extra E. Is it because they pronounce it as congrats instead of congrats? I don't know. The correct spelling has rats in it, not rates. Imagine yourself saying congrats to a rat catcher for having caught many rats and you won't go wrong. And congrats to you for making it to the end of the video. If there are certain words that you have trouble spelling or find others struggling with, do write them below. Do subscribe to The English Nut on YouTube. Ring the bell icon too, so you know when I'm releasing my next video. And if you really like this content, do tell your friends to subscribe as well. I'm The English Nut. Bye for now.